All right, guys. Uh, starting off, got my digital caliper. You can get these online. Pretty much everything here is from Amazon or eBay. Uh, your reloading scale. Now, this is not an end-all video of everything you'll need. This is just to get you an idea of what you're going to need when you get going. So you can get an idea of uh, how much you're going to need to spend. There's uh, a case loop pad for when you're reloading uh, rifle rounds or any rounds with a crimped neck. And here's some. Uh, case lube so it's like an ink pad you put the case lube on and then you roll your rounds on it and then you you can re, uh, reload them uh, you don't have to do that with pistol uh, with a straight wall a 9 millimeter go gauge go no go made by Lyman I also have uh, several others in 223 and 308 got the uh, Dillon uh, wrench along with my Leatherman needle and those pliers are great for uh, when your case feeder jams up there Got some Allen wrenches, flashlight, uh, my primer pickup tray, which you guys will see me using here in a second. Primer pickup tube. Some guys like to carry a couple of these uh, ready to go. Uh, my Lyman reloading book, which is a must have. Another must have is your uh, bullet puller. Everyone needs to get a bullet puller. Uh, it, it'll save you money because you're going to have mess ups and you're going to need to pull the bullets and reuse your components. Then you have the press. This is the uh, uh, mini bullet feeder for the 9mm. So your bullets are stacked up in there. Then you feed in here. And then you just, when it gets empty, you just rotate it like a revolver. It's like a revolving cylinder and works pretty easy. Powdery feeder. These will cost you about 100 bucks. Here's a tool head, and to do caliber change, when you have another tool head set up, you just take this pin out, and on the other side there's another pin, you see the black pin, take those out, whole tool head comes off, you put your other tool head on, that's ready to go with another caliber, and you're ready to reload. Um, there's a little bit more to it than that, but it takes about like 10 minutes to change calibers. 15 minutes if you're slow. Uh, your case feeder, this attaches directly to the mount. And my cats are following me around. This mounts directly to your uh, to your machine. And I got the Dillon strong arm mount, these black panels, so I can have the uh, press at a optimal height, so I don't have to sit down to reload. I can stand and get a little bit more leverage that way. And I always leave the uh, press, the, the the piston in the up position. It just locks everything in place so no one can come over here and mess with it or knock anything over. These guys like to knock stuff over. So I leave it ready to go. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, I got some extra stuff down here that I'm not really using. Uh, the workbench. You'll need a good workbench. So that's pretty much it, guys. Now, this is not bolted to the wall because uh, I don't own this place. I lease it, so... When I get to my own place, hopefully next year, I will mount this to the wall. And when, since it's not mounted, you'll see when I reload, sometimes the, uh, when the brass feeds down through here, it won't go all the way forward because the table will shake. So it'll move it around maybe a sixteenth of an inch. So I might have to give a little tap on the brass to make sure it feeds in the uh, resizing, deep priming station, which I'll show you guys later. later. So, other than that, guys, that's about it for accessories. Oh, one more thing. I, I don't have a uh, case trimmer, so you guys will need a case trimmer if you're loading rifle rounds. Uh, the reason why I don't have one is because when I started reloading 223, I bought all my brass new. <laughs> it was like all new brass. And uh, it, uh, I have my go no go gauge here. I opened it up and I used it and I checked all my brass, especially on the used brass. It was all correct size and everything, so didn't have to trim it. <laughs> but I am going to get one, hopefully. Uh, when I get set up the run two two three on this press. So it's just right now I'm just doing nine and just chilling on that. So Alright thanks guys. Alright guys, this is my Harbor Freight Sonic Cleaner. Uh you can get these online for about 60, 70 bucks. Uh Lyman makes one, it's pretty much the exact same thing. There's a video floating around on YouTube where the guy takes them apart and uh he shows the insides of the the wiring and stuff and they're the exact same so my is uh more expensive. So, when I use it, I don't need that in there. I let them all sit on the bottom. I'll, I'll do a video later on on how I clean brass, but uh, 
it works really good and I got a recipe down that works really good too and I'll show you guys all that but this is just showing you guys the accessories I use for reloading um, <laughs> the only thing that sucks is that uh, your brass isn't going to be super shiny it'll be clean but it's not going to be shiny if you want shiny you can tumble it whatever I do this to save money so this is just like the low budget way to clean your brass I, I've been doing this for a long time I've had thousands of rounds that have gone through here and I shoot them just fine and they work fine so I like using it and I'm not going to change how I use it but I'll show you the whole process uh, in a later video okay guys just got done doing the uh, doing some rounds these are the completed ones and these are finished ones get yourself some of these uh, 100 round boxes you can get them on eBay for like three bucks cheap easy get a whole bunch of them so there you have it thanks guys